friends welcome to facts figures and quotes friends have you heard of the auschwitz concentration camp if not let me tell you uh, something about these camps but be prepared for some tough uh, names the auschwitz uh, concentration camp was a complex of over 40 concentration and extermination camps operated uh, by uh, nazi germany in occupied poland during world war 2 and the holocaust before we move ahead let me explain uh, nazi germany and holocaust to you uh, in a few words the term nazi germany is the common english name for germany between 1933 and 1945 when hitler and his uh, nazi party that is nsdap controlled the country through a dictatorship under uh, hitler's rule germany became a totalitarian state where nearly all aspects of life were controlled by the government the term holocaust also known as the shoha mass murder of jews was the world war 2's genocide of the european jews between 1941 and 1945 across german occupied europe where nazi germany and its uh, collaborators systematically murdered some 6 million jews which was around 2/3 of uh, europe's uh, jewish population Auschwitz 1 uh, and Auschwitz 2 uh, were concentration and extermination camps built with uh, several gas chambers. Auschwitz 3 was a labor camp created to staff a factory for the chemical con- conglomerate IG Farben and dozens of sub camps. These camps became a major site of the Nazis' final solution to the Jewish question. After Germany sparked World War II by invading Poland in September 1939, the Schutzstaffel, in short, known as SS, Schutzstaffel was a major paramilitary organization under Adolf Hitler and the Nazi Party (NSDAP) in Nazi Germany and later throughout German-occupied Europe during the World War II. It began with a small guard unit known as Salschess. they converted auschwitz 1 which used to be army barracks into a prisoner of war camp for polish political prisoners the first inmates were german criminals that were brought to camp in may 1940 as functionaries they established the camp's reputation for sadism beating torturing and executing prisoners for the most trivial of reasons the first gassings of soviet and polish uh, prisoners took place in block 11 of auschwitz 1 around august uh, 1941 prisoners could be beaten and killed by guards and uh, kapus now kapus were prisoner functionaries it was kapus job to brutally force prisoners to do forced uh, labor despite the prisoners being sick and starving and for the slightest uh, infraction of the rules they could even be killed a polish uh, historian irina uh, strzleka writes that uh, kapus were given nicknames uh, such as bloody iron the strangler the strangler the boxer that uh, reflected sadism construction of uh, auschwitz 2 began the following month and from 1942 until late 1944 freight trains delivered jews from all over german occupied europe uh, to its uh, gas chambers out of 1.3 million people sent to auschwitz 1 1.1 million died the death toll includes 960000 jews out of which 865000 were gassed on arrival 74000 non jewish poles 21000 romans 15000 soviet prisoners of war and up to 15000 other other uh, europeans were also gassed to death those not gassed died of starvation exhaustion disease individual executions or beatings others were killed uh, during medical experiments At least 802 prisoners tried to escape. 144 were successful. On uh, October 7, 1944, two Sonder Commando, that is S O N D E R K O M M A N D O, 
uh, Sordo Commando were units made up of German Nazi death camp prisoners, usually Jews, who were forced on the threat of their own deaths to aid with the disposal of gas chamber victims during the Holocaust. The death camp Sordo Commandos, who were always inmates, were unrelated to the SS Sordo Commandos, which were ad hoc units formed from various SS officers between 1938 and 1945. On 7th October 1944, uh, two Sordo Commando units consisting of prisoners who staffed the uh, gas chambers uh, launched an unsuccessful uprising. Only 789 staff, not more than 15% stood trial. When several, including Camp Commandant Rudolf Hoss, were executed. The light powers, that is Britain, France, Russia and United States, the major ones, failure to act on the early reports of atrocities in the camp by bombing it or its railways remains uh, controversial. Sondo Commando wearing gas masks uh, dragged the bodies from the chamber. They removed glasses and artificial limbs and shaved off the women's hair. Women's hair was removed before they entered the gas uh, chambers at uh, Bezhets, Solibor and Triblanka, but at uh, Auschwitz, it was done after death. By 6 February 1943, the Reich Economic Ministry of Nazi Germany had received 3,000 kg of women's hair from Auschwitz and Majdanek. The hair was first cleaned in a solution of salomoniac, dried on the brick floor of the crematoria, combed and placed in paper bags. The hair was shipped to various companies including one manufacturing in Bremen, Blumenthal, where works um, found tiny coins with Greek letters on some of the hair braids or hair or ponytails, possibly from some, some of the 50,000 Greek Jews deported to Auschwitz in 1943. When they liberated the camp in January 1945, the Red Army found 7,000 kg of human hair in bags ready to ship. Just before cremation, jewelry was removed along with dental work and teeth containing precious metals. Gold was removed from the teeth of dead prisoners from 23 September 1940 onwards. By the order of Heinrich Himmler, German Nazi leader, the work was carried out by members of the Sonderkommando who were dentists. Anyone caught overlooking or spying over the dental work were cremated alive. The gold was sent to SS Health Service and was used by dentists to treat the SS and their families. 50 kg had been collected by 8th of October 1942. By early 1944, 10 to 12 kg of gold were being extracted monthly from victims' uh, teeth. The corpses were burned in the nearby incinerators and the ashes were buried uh, or thrown in the Vistula River or used as fertilizer. Any bits of bone that had not burned properly were uh, grounded down in wooden mortars. As the Soviet Red Army approached Auschwitz in January 1945, toward the end of the war, the SS sent most of the camp's population west on a death march to camps inside Germany and Austria. Soviet troops entered the camp on 27 January 1945 a day commemorated since 2005 as Interna International Holocaust Remembrance Day. In the decades after the war, survivors such as uh, Primo Levi, Viktor Frankl and Elie Wiesel wrote memoirs of their experiences and the camp uh, became a dominant symbol of the Holocaust. In 1947, Poland founded the Auschwitz Birkenau State, State Museum on the site of Auschwitz 1 and 2 and in 1979 it was named a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. So friends that was Auschwitz, the tragedy of Auschwitz or the tragedy of mankind I don't know what to say. Uh, man is the most brutal beast on this planet when it comes to greed and power. Uh, so friends uh, that's all I have for today. Goodbye and see you next week.